So you went out there armed? Yes. I, I have a concealed permit, so a lot of times I would be out armed, just like my neighbor was armed when he came over. Okay. And Scott was armed too when he pulled the gun on me. But with, you consciously made the decision to put that gun on your person when you went out there because of the threat from them? I would make it a, a practice before because they had made threats to me. So if you went was, out there carrying a gun to be protected if you were attacked? From anybody. It doesn't have to be them. Correct. But you weren't wearing it for the new people across the street. No. I knew that. You focused on them. They made it evident that they wanted to hurt me. Did he have the gun on him or did he go back in the house and get it? When the dog went onto his property, he walked back into the house. He came back out. She restrained the dog. And she's, she's bent down in a kneeling type position. If you'll look at the footage, where was he carrying the gun? He's wearing a t-shirt. You can see his waistline. There's no holster. All right, now, what did she have in her hand? Uh, she had a, some sort of a length of a rope, a tape, something in her hand. And the second, well, after she pushed me the second time, she's coming out, trying to get that on my so throat. So she had tape? Yeah, she's trying to get that on my throat. OK. And so what did you do? Best I could describe, just fight or flight mode. I'm doing this. And I, I just, when I stumbled back, and she came at me again, that's when I, I drew my firearm from the holster. So you had it in the holster. She pushes you back. You pull the gun. Yes. And shoot her where? Uh, I just, I didn't aim. I just wanted the threat to stop. So I just aimed in center mass, her direction. Where did it hit her? What did you see? I didn't see the impact. As soon as, I, as, soon as my firearm was discharged, I went inside and called the ambulance. And the theta hit her in the heart. But you shot her in the front of her body? Yes. So here's where I found my wife uh, after I heard the gunshot. Uh, she was laying on the ground on her back. I had a neighbor was trying to help resuscitate her. She, she didn't know that I was there. She was dying. It's that fast. I had my gun. I had it pointed to his head. And I could have pulled that trigger. Something just told me, don't do this. Help my wife try and keep her alive. What I understand through the neighbor that witnessed the crime is she was kneeled down like this, holding, holding the dog because the dog walked over into his property line. And so as she squatted down, he's aiming at an innocent woman with a roll of tape. That's not a weapon. That's no reason to kill someone. I saw the police and I ran, and my daughter was dying. And I, I grabbed my daughter's hand. I said, don't leave me, don't leave me. And she just looked up and did this. And I know she was gone. Virginia, I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. He killed my daughter, and we need justice we do need for justice. my daughter because he murdered her.